Hey guys, my name is Chaotic, and in this video, I'm going to be covering what I believe to be the top 5 worst cars in Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. So anyway guys, let's get straight into this video and start off at number 5. I have placed the Albany Emperor in 5th place in this video, firstly because this is a typically American car. Even though the car itself looks okay, it's not something which many people want to store inside their garage, mainly because it's quite slow, it's also pretty bad at going around corners, and let's be honest, it's useless at just about everything else. Unfortunately, there are very few customizations actually available for this car at the Los Santos Customs, and that is a shame because this car does have potential, but this car will need to be fully pimped in order to actually meet anyone's standards. Even though this car is one of the slowest on Grand Theft Auto 5, and it's also one of the ugliest as well, and being quite large, it doesn't really have much going for it, but there are still worse contenders in this video, hence why I've positioned this car in 5th place. So moving on into 4th place, we have what is known as the Stratum, and I am 100% confident when I say this, that nobody has ever put this vehicle inside their garage and be proud of that placement. Now this car in general is just horrible to look at, it is very slow, and it's also terrible at going around corners. The thing in general is quite long as well, but one good thing about this car is that it does have 4 seats, so if you do have friends, you can take your friends around the map for a drive, but saying that, I doubt very few people would want to go for a drive with you if you had one of these as your personal vehicle. This car only has a few basic customizations actually available for it at the Los Santos Customs, so unfortunately you can't take this thing inside the Los Santos Customs and transform it into something special. The next vehicle being displayed in this video is known as the Volcar Ingot, and the only benefit this car does offer you is the fact it does have 4 seats, so you can get 4 people into this car, but that is as far as the benefits go, everything else about this car is bad. First of all, the styling that went into this car, you can see there is no form of styling whatsoever. The car itself is extremely slow, and it's also a front wheel drive car, which is the only reason why this was put above the car previously shown in this video. All front wheel drive cars are terrible at going around corners because their handling capabilities are extremely bad and all front wheel drive cars understeer terribly. So the fact this car is extremely ugly, there is no form of styling whatsoever and there are very few customizations actually available for this car at the Los Santos Customs to improve the looks or the performance of this car will put this car in third place. This car doesn't have any specific spawn location, as it can usually be found just about anywhere around the map of Los Santos. But to be honest, if you do find this car and you're desperately in need of something to drive, I highly recommend you still avoid this car, because you don't want to be seen driving around in something so bad. I'm confident that the next car needs no introduction. Now apologies if I do pronounce the name of this car wrong. The car itself is known as the Dilettante. Even if I have said that wrong, who cares, because this car is awful. This car of course is based off the Toyota Prius, and that information alone is enough to know that you should avoid this car completely. It doesn't matter what angle you look at this car from, because this car will not be winning any awards for its styling. This car of course is also front wheel drive, which makes its performance extremely low, it is very slow and its handling capabilities are terrible. Every time I see this car, I want to vomit everywhere. I don't understand how anyone could get in this car and want to drive it around, because the thing itself is just generally terrible, and it's definitely a car which you want to avoid and never see ever again. And finally, we have a car which makes all the girls wet when you drive past them in it. This car costs a total of $8,000 and can be purchased from the internet on your phone. This car of course is known as the Regina. Now I'm sure everyone will agree with me with this placement, this car is possibly one of the ugliest looking cars the Rockstar has ever introduced into the Grand Theft Auto series. This car is made of a combination of materials, those being wood, chrome and metal. The combination of materials used to make this vehicle certainly don't go together and they don't help the styling that goes towards this vehicle because of course it is very ugly. It's also very slow, I don't think it has a very high top speed. It is possibly the slowest car on GTA 5. So to conclude, this car is the worst car there is on GTA 5, and there is only one reason why you'd ever purchase this vehicle and store it inside your garage, and that is simply so you can blow it up at a later date. So anyway, whilst I stand by this pile of burning crap, I want to encourage you guys to like this video, as it will help me out a lot and I will appreciate it greatly. Also be sure to leave a comment on this video, tell me what you thought of my placement of vehicles, and if you think I've missed out a vehicle which should have been included, then be sure to leave that as a comment also. 
And if you have not already, I highly recommend that you subscribe to my channel because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So anyway guys, thank you for watching, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.